Hi, my name is Jatin Popat. I'm a lawyer by profession and I have experience for past 30 years into legal matters. I'm a founder of a company called Viljini, which is India's first success and services company. We have been providing will and success and services to thousands of Indians residing in India or abroad like NRIs since 2014. Today, we'll cover a topic called benefits from family trust uh, for your simpler understanding. So let me t uh, tell you that creating a family trust is, a, is a something which is really important uh, for you. The biggest reasons could be number one, you want to control your asset even if you are not there. So for example, if you are writing, uh, you are creating a trust, you will be controlling your asset through your trust deed and the rules mention all your properties for 5 years, 10 years, 50 years till the period you have mentioned in the trust deed. So that's the biggest advantage that you are driving your asset even if you are not there. The secondly, it could be the parents have a special child. This is a unique uh, benefit because if you hand over child and the wealth to a close relative or family, then you are you are trusting them that they will do something. You are just uh, having a basic trust on them. Whether they do or don't do, you don't know. And nobody can stop them or challenge them. But if you have trusted that if they are doing something wrong to your uh, special child or they are misusing the wealth, they can be questioned because there is a complete rule book mentioned. So this is a structure which is protecting your child, uh, your special child life care. Sometimes it is also for a people where they feel that if I am not there, my business or my wealth will go to the, my kids who are actually not yet mature. Maybe they are 25, 30. So I want to give the wealth to them only when they turn 40. That is the way you want to create the trust that if you die, then those period of till they become 40, it can be managed by the trust so that they don't make bigger mistakes and your whole business is you no know, getting spoiled. Other thing is the business succession. As I mentioned, sometimes the business is when it is given to a particular child or a family member, they, there could be a, a dispute within them, right? We have seen many cases in the media that family have fought for years for the business empire and eventually everything has gone to the nil. So that to avoid that, it is better to create a family trust who will take care as a, in your, they will step in your shoes and they will observe the complete uh, discipline and uh, the growth of the business. So whatever wealth you created, it is good. But there is a multiplication of those assets coming from the asset uh, from the business in the future years. So if you don't make mistakes in proper family business succession with the private trust, there is a chances that the future income can reduce or it can be a nil. So it is better to have a, this type of family trust. So these are the things. Even the people who are into a, their uh, NRIs, like you know the NRIs kids, uh, if they are settled down, the parents in India can create this type of a trust so that the kids in foreign country, they might attract an inheritance tax, which can be avoided by creating a family trust. Also, when the money is transferred to the NRI kids after the parents demise, and if they continue to earn income, they will have a global income tax on those income. So that is a huge. So avoid both inheritance tax and global income, it could be better to create a family trust for their family or entire family and keep the money in here in India and reinvest something so that it really helps in avoiding those taxes. Many a times people from the, the people who are following the Muslim religion, they come forward and they do an advanced uh, planning for the succession. Uh, instances where people have felt that the Sharia law applicability for their wealth could be a difficulty for their family's wealth and all. So they try to create a trust and put more of the asset so that all their asset can be divided to the family's benefit as per their wishes. Because Sharia law has different uh, restrictions on uh, those succession and that is why they also think of doing uh, this type of trust. The people who are in business have large borrowings and they want to protect their asset. See many a times by bad luck or unfortunately the business may not do well and it may incur losses it may shut down. And in those cases, the, the lender, they chase behind the private properties of uh, owners, founders. 
to avoid that it is it is good to create a trust so that ring fencing the private estate will not be touched by the lender so there are uh, cases that we have, uh, we have seen in matrimonial uh, no people they come to us and they say there is likely a matrimonial dispute coming up how do i protect my uh, wealth uh, uh, to avoid uh, alimony claims on my assets and all so you no know, again those people are creating this type of trust there are people who are creating specific trust for minor kids whether they 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 do it as a good planning for the kid sometimes they feel as a proactively that in future if we have a matrimonial issue our child should not suffer and even that type of people we have seen that come forward and create a family trust only for a child minor child so these are the good benefit the people into have a philanthropy and charity activities they have in mind that my family may not do the charity i wish to do i have, if i even i provide in my will they may not do the charity they don't spend time or in the so they themselves create a trust private trust only for charity purpose and they appoint some of the good people from ngo to manage the trust these are the real life example that we are giving we have helped those type of people because they have feel that charity is a prime important in their wealth and they keep certain percentage and they want to do it correctly so sometimes you uh, know they create those type of trust so that there is a legal binding on the trustees so these are the benefit i think uh, will help you to understand this more uh, uh, realistic way and uh, no only will is not uh, the succession planning will and trust is something which uh, many people consider for a proper succession planning thank you